Individual emotions do not live in specific parts of your brain. You wouldn't know that from news stories which repeatedly claim that fear, for example, lives in a brain region called the amygdala and that disgust lives in another brain region called the insula. And this is supposed to be true whether you're a human or a fruit fly. Such claims are based on an outdated understanding of brain function that goes something like this. Your brain is like a machine with independent pieces and each piece has its own function. So it's kind of like a collection of separate mental organs. So there's one organ for each kind of an emotion, that these are assumed to live in the very ancient animalistic parts of your brain. Thoughts and memories and beliefs supposedly live in other more highly evolved brain parts that allegedly control the emotion parts. Modern neuroscience actually began with these beliefs as scientists searched for different parts of the brain that held dedicated circuits for anger and fear and happiness, for thoughts and beliefs and memories and so on. But in recent years, we've discovered that a brain is not really a collection of mental organs, separate mental organs. It's actually a vast structure containing billions of neurons that are always passing information back and forth to each other. This one structure can take on billions of different patterns. So emotions, and really all mental events, are constructed by your whole brain as vast networks of neurons work together. This changes the kind of scientific questions we ask. We no longer ask where emotions live in the brain, but instead we ask how the brain makes emotions.